everyone, E. Chip and Robert here, and we've been challenged by Rachel and Mark at Rainbow Valley Ranch to tell you why we choose to garden, homestead, and all the fun stuff that we so enjoy doing. And we appreciate the challenge. Uh, we just have come across Mark and Rachel's channel. Uh, they want to start a youth ranch in eastern Colorado. I think they're in the area just east of Colorado Springs, uh, still uh, near the foothills. Uh, of the Rocky Mountains and a very pretty spot in the country. They know that we uh, are soon transitioning to an off-grid uh, lifestyle uh, not too far from them in the Intermountain West. And so they are excited for us as we are excited for them to be doing what they want to do. And so we are happy to uh, respond to this challenge and tell you why uh, why we garden. Well, I like, I like being challenged for these because it gives me a chance to step back and think about what uh, is making me go in this direction. For me, I've been doing gardens for three or four years now. I like to go to grow things because I liked the challenge of trying to get things to grow. Last year was the first time I did anything from seeds, really. Mostly I just get already little started plants and go from there. I mean, I like being able to get uh, vegetables, the whatever, from the plant and be able to use them for meals and things. Up until this year, the things that I've grown, I've just used and consumed at the time. Go pick them off the plant, make them and use them in a salad or on the grill or something like that. I mostly have only grown tomatoes and peppers and um, I try to do zucchini and squash because I like those. Each hip does not, but I like those and I've never really <clears throat> been able to get any of those to grow. But my thing is I love the challenge of getting something to grow and then I love being able to eat the things that I do grow. I think they taste amazing and I love the best thing I get all excited about it because I love to go look at it. And I love to see things that are ripe, but I also love to get like the strawberries. I love to go pick them and eat them right then. And to be honest with you, I don't really study a lot about it. I just always put them in the ground, water them, and don't really ever fertilize them or anything. I just let them do what they're going to do. Well, and that's sort of the beauty of gardening to a degree, huh? That you can, you can just throw stuff in the ground and it grows. But then we have to be more diligent if we're going to go be more self-sustaining. <laughs> but anyway, so that's my reasoning. I like the learning the new skills. I'm, you know, making... I love the canning part of it and the food preservation, which is something that is new within the last year. This is like the first thing that I grew in a garden and took to this stage. And these are some beets that we grew. We had tons of them and we have like 20 jars of these things. But Good thing I'm, we love them. I know. I'm a I guess I'm kind of especially proud of this because this is the first thing that I took from seed. You ought to save that for 20 years then you can show it off. To this. I mean, it, w it did. It went from seed to this mm -hmm. jar. That's and nice. I'm really kind of proud of it. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. My uh, desire to garden uh, comes from a much broader purpose. Um, I, I want to become closer generally to the things that sustain me. Um, I, I want to live more simply. Uh, I want to live uh, more sustainably. And gardening is just a part of that. Uh, you know, if you've seen our videos, you see that we occupy a pretty small place here uh, at this location. We have another location, which is on an acreage, uh, but this location is where we're at mostly. And this location is small. It's a two bedroom, uh, you know, duplex. And uh, we do a lot of our, I mean, we built the solar generator here. We are working on the backhoe here. Uh, you know, and it's just a, it's a tiny place but we like it. And the reason we like it is because it challenges us to live more simply and more and, and make our efforts count more uh, for the things we do. Things that we might not be able to do if we had more space and uh, you know, better facility and you know, those kinds of things. So we love it. We love being simple and being here for now as long as we are before we actually get out to contentment because it's teaching us and helping us learn to do these things. Gardening uh, is my way of number one, sticking it 
<laughs> in a way, to corporations and grocery stores who try to tell us that, you know, they are the only ones who can help us. Um, and it sounds political, but it's really not. It's just my way of saying, gosh, I want to be able to do these things for myself. Um, I want to be closer to my own food. Uh, I want to know where it's coming from, or at least know who grew it. And, uh, and, I, and I don't want to have to pay for a truck to bring it if I can grow it myself. So the little backyard that we have here at the duplex a couple of years ago was converted into a Back to Eden garden. I moved in several yards of wood chips into the backyard and just about completely took over the entire backyard except for just a little strip around the perimeter so we can get around it and began planting. And that first season, I mean, they were just fresh wood chips. We had a great garden. And um, so we were able to eat from it. And that's, that's really what this is about, is being able to take over more um, of the things that, uh, that, that keep us alive and, and, and enjoy them more, and I think appreciate them more. Um, I think another motivation for me is being able to give to others. Um, be able to, being able to walk over to the neighbors and say, hey, would you like some cantaloupe? I got a whole bunch of cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. Would you like some? Would you like some lettuce? I got a whole bunch of cabbage. You know, those kinds of things. And then thirdly, of course, because I'm a bit of a prepper, um, this is what, you know, is a, is a great reason for gardening. Because if something happens, you've got food on hand. to, uh, to build. And you could do this if you bought it at the store, too, but this is cheaper. So, um, you know, it's just, um, and, it's, and it's good food, and you knew where it came from. And it may not taste always like the stuff you get in the store. Sometimes it's better. Um, often it's better, especially the fresh stuff. I like it more. Yeah, myself. I mean, I like it. But, uh, I mean, but that, that's the reason why we garden. All of it does take us to the level we want to be in next and the, mm -hmm. the way we want to spend the remainder of our years, mm -hmm. not relying on people, not having to go to the store every day or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a way to keep us moving. So it's time to pass on this video challenge and we've selected three channels to do it. I hope they'll keep this going. Uh, these three channels are ones that we've watched and we really enjoy. Uh, the first one is Jackie's Kitchen and More. Jackie lives in upstate New York. She enjoys gardening. She looks to be an incredible cook. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, we, we have enjoyed her channel. So Jackie, please tell us why you like the garden because we know you do it, even if you do some of it indoors. Um, the next one is Gion meets Gaia. Uh, Gion is, uh, I think he is a physical therapist uh, who lives uh, in and near Asheville, North Carolina. He and his young family, he gardens in his front yard because where he lives, it'll allow him to do it. He has chickens and gardens and things like that in the front yard. Love this guy. Very positive man. Uh, he's got a great message. Um, uh, is a practicing Buddhist uh, and is really uh, just a super nice guy. <laughs> Um, I enjoy following him and his family's journey. His wife has got an incredible uh, recipe for homemade mayonnaise on there, and I highly recommend his channel. And uh, so, Gian, namaste, <laughs> and you are challenged. And then uh, the last one, I'm going to let you talk about. The last one goes out to Andy's Tennessee Life and Homestead. Andy is in rural Tennessee, and he recently changed the name of his channel to, to this. Mm -hmm. um, but he has little small homes and things like that, and he does woodworking and mm -hmm. stuff. So he he has done some limited gardening, at least in his videos from what I can see. He's done limited gardening, but he likes to do woodworking. Uh, he does, I think he does handyman work, but he lives off grid. Uh, and on some land that he purchased recently and moved out to in Tennessee. And uh, he's just fun to watch. He's fun. He's a nice guy. He's a genuinely nice guy. And he is, uh, his channel is really fun to watch. So we highly recommend him. So Andy, you need to tell us what you like about gardening and why you do it. Anyway, those are the three. Good luck to you. And uh, God bless. We enjoy you. 
Thanks for viewing. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And uh, feel free to reach back to us with any questions about anything you've heard.